everybody, Lily from somewhere. everybody it's Lily from Wild Tales and this video is my top five reasons why I keep tarantulas um, this idea was thought out by a fellow youtuber tarantula cat and it's a really cool idea because it kind of gets everybody to, to kind of get to know each other and as well as people outside of the hobby kind of get an idea of why we do what we do so without further ado these are my top five uh, number five is I've always been into keeping and learning about animals, especially smaller animals like insects and bugs and and um, reptiles and amphibians and that kind of thing. And I was always out in the yard or in the woods looking for all kinds of different creepy critters and that kind of thing and keeping them and learning about them. Um, but I've always been afraid of spiders. And um, eventually, after many years of you know, trying to get over my fear of them. I, I eventually did, and I got a tarantula when I was 18. And that's a whole different story. I'll go into that in a different video. Um, but I started getting into tarantulas. I had one tarantula for a while, but um, and I was mostly into reptiles at the time. But I just got back into the hobby. And, um, you know, I really got into tarantulas wholeheartedly this time around, as well as other invertebrates, which I've always loved. So that's my fifth reason, because I've always just loved those kind of you know, creepy critters. My number four reason is because they are very easy to keep and care for. They don't take up a ton of space. So I have a couple shelves where I keep my tarantulas. I only have about 31 at, at the moment plus other invertebrates. Uh, so they don't take up a ton of space and I can expand and it's still not gonna take up, you know, half the house like a larger, larger exotic animals would. And they're also easy to care for, you know, make sure they, they have the proper um, setups and, and they don't eat every single day like a lot of animals and just make sure they have water and their humidity and temperatures are decent and the cool thing is they don't need extra heat or extra UVB light or anything like that like a lot of um, other exotics do. They're, they're fine at room temperature and I keep my I keep them in a tarantula room reptile room that's in the mid 70s so they're good at that temperature which is great and we have a very big old farmhouse built in 1768 so yeah that's how old it is it's very old and, you know, of course these big old farmhouses are, are a lot of times very hard to heat, which ours is. So it's nice to be able to, I can keep one room at a decent temperature without having to break the bank on electric and heating just to keep it warm enough for them. So that's nice to be able to do that, which is, which is really cool. Um, so that's number four. Number three is the fact that they live a long time. I also love mantises and, and um, other invertebrates but a lot of times you know you, you get a year out of them you're good some of them live a lot less than that and it's kind of sad when you when you have fun with these with you know these little critters and they're your pets and, and you lose them so quickly but the great thing about tarantulas is even if you have a male you're gonna you know you can get three to five years out of them females can go 15 20 25 years or more which is great when you have something that's going to be around a really really long time and you've if you're attached to them. And I get attached to my tarantulas just like anybody else gets attached to their, and they're not gonna be all friendly and playful like a dog or cat would be, but I still I still love them and it's nice to have them around for a good amount of time. So that's my number three reason. My number two reason is because I love, sci I've always loved science and it's really cool to learn about um, all the different animals and that kind of thing. And, and I really loved to learn about, because there are so many different species and subspecies of tarantulas all over the world and they all have different habits and habitats and that kind of thing. So it's really cool to learn about how their differences and their similarities and how they live and also the scientific names and why they get the names they do and how they fit with each other and we've had some name changes like the avicularias have changed changed around a bit and it's really cool to see um, what their new names are and what they mean and, and why and that kind of thing. So I really love the science aspect of it and how they do what they do and act the way they act and all the different, the diversity in the, in tarantulas. There's just so many different species of tarantulas. It's, it's really cool. So 
that's my number two reason. My number one reason is because I really enjoy being part of the community, the Tarantula community. Everyone's very helpful, very nice. Um, if you have any questions or if you have any, you know, if you just want to share information, photographs, anything, everybody's really open and really friendly and really wants to kind of exchange information. It's really cool to, to be around other people that really get what you do and, and why you do it. and. You know, you can have a whole long discussion about tarantulas and you don't get the weird looks and the kind of, okay. You know, it's, we all get each other, so it's, it's pretty cool. So that's, that's my number one reason is I really enjoy the community and um, all other people that also keep tarantulas. So, so that would conclude my top five reasons. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and if you and I would love to hear any comments you might have about if you keep tarantulas yourself, um, why you keep tarantulas, if you're interested or if you just have any questions or anything you just want to share information, yeah, please comment below. And if you want to see more videos of my videos, just subscribe and I hope that you'll come back. So, thanks for watching. Everybody Lily from this video is going to be my top five, reasons, top five reasons why I keep tarantulas. Number five, um, I've always been into creepy critters and like bugs and small reptiles, amphibians, that kind of thing. Um, my whole life since I was little, I was always looking for bugs and things in my yard um, and collecting all kinds of stuff. Um, so there I go with the um thing. I was always into little, um, like, bugs and, and, uh, number, my number two reason is I love science. Cut. My number two reason is because I love science and I've always loved, um, learning about different animals and especially the animals around, you know, tiny animals like insects and reptiles and amphibians and that kind of thing. That was really cool. So, take three. Take four.